Hi guys, it is Denma and we've got the flash back there. Oh, it's on the camera. I thought there's a little speck on the camera and it was on my chin. I was like, oh, what's that? Um, but it's just on my phone screen. Um, story time video. Um, a couple days ago, we went to New Bern, which is about 30 minutes away. We had to take Cody on an emergency room trip because he had not feeling good a couple, for a couple of days. Um, he had gone to the aquarium a few days prior and that day he hadn't eaten anything, really hadn't drunk anything and then he started like exorcist vomiting type stuff and we took his temperature and it was 104.5 so we rushed him immediately to the hospital um, they saw him, they got him in right then um, they did x-rays and everything um, they said that everything was um, normal. They gave him a big dose of liquid Motrin and some Zofran, which is a nausea pill. And this type is the kind that I take. It dissolves on your tongue and it helps prevent nausea. And that knocked him out for a little while. Um, he was so tired. We went, it was like 11.30 when we got in there and we didn't get out until about 2. So, which is actually pretty fast for the big emergency room. Express Care, which is next to the emergency room, they close at 10. But they do um, like minor emergencies, like this would have been considered a minor emergency. We caught, we, we they got in and out of there quicker, but we he didn't make it in time because we had to drive all the way from here to there. Um, but they, like I said, they did a couple of tests, x-rays, and they said he everything looks normal um, and that it's probably just a bug because the school did say that there was a stomach bug going around as well and they said that the aquarium which is at Pine Knoll Shores which is almost two hours away depending on how much traffic you get um, is a petri dish of germs there's a little exhibit where you can touch different things like they have little sea urchins and they have stingrays and starfish and the kids get to touch them. Even though they have hand sanitizer, it's still a lot of germs um, in that whole area. Plus there was three or four of the classes that went, plus all the regular people that are going to the aquarium. So yeah, that was fun. Um, by the time we left the hospital, his temperature was a low grade fever, which is good. It's what it's maintained at for the past couple of the days. Um, he hasn't gone to school because the school requires that he not have a fever without medication for 24 hours, if that makes sense. Um, so basically almost all week he didn't go and I let his teacher know that um, we have this handy Remind app that the school uses and I can email the teacher or send the teacher like a text um, letting him know that we had to take him to the emergency room and she told me that rule because I didn't know I wasn't aware of that rule which I wouldn't send him to school with a fever anyway even a low grade one because for all I know it could be contagious but they didn't say it was they just said it was a virus that's just gotta run its course you know just keep him comfortable give him Tylenol or Motrin and just make sure he gets plenty of fluids see I'm so big now I'm so sassy they got their first flea treatment a few days ago, so, which, this is off topic. I used Sargent's, and it was three months supply for the adult cats, and then I got the pet armor, which is like, hey Katniss. <sighs> Say hey Katniss. Say hey YouTube. Say hey YouTube. She's like, no, I want to go roll around because I'm in heat. That's why I haven't sent her back over because he has two unneutered males and I don't think that. But anyway, back to the flea treatment. Um, I used the pet armor for kittens, cats and kittens, over eight weeks and one and a half pounds. And I, it was just one of them, so I split it between the two. And that works fine. But the sergeant one... For some reason on Claudine caused this little scab. It's not burning, it's more like a hot spot. And it's drying over and scabbing up. 
um, that's the first time I've ever had that happen with Sargent's. So just be careful. Sargent's for me is a trusted brand. Sargent's is a really trusted brand by me. Um, and Adams, that pet armor. Um, of course, Frontline Advantage. Um, and there's a couple other new ones, Revolution. Um, but Hearts is the one you have to look out for because Hearts does not measure the fipronil, I believe it is, that they put into the um, flea medication to get rid of the fleas. They, it's not approved by the FDA, yada yada yada. Um, when I was a vet tech, we saw numerous dogs where the owners had put the four drops down their back and it had run together and there was one that was like a Cocker Spaniel mix and we literally had to board him because we had to peel off skin every day because it was almost like a third degree, degree burn. If you want to get the spray and spray it on your furniture, it may stain so don't, if you have white furniture, don't do that. Um, but that's fine, just do not put it on your animals. Anything hearts related, unless it's like a toy that doesn't have anything in it, um, I won't get no treats, no nothing, no shampoo. Mm. I, I just, so many bad cases of that. But anyway, back to Cody. Um, so, about 2 o'clock, they discharged him. Um, he was so tired. I mean, they tried, they were wanting to see if he could keep a ginger ale down, but when they tried to wake him up, and plus my son, you know, he has autism, so he didn't want to answer any of the questions because he doesn't know these people, and he's like kind of scared, he's not feeling good, so yeah, that was fun trying to get him to explain to the nurse what was going on, because um, you know, they're, gonna, they're wanting to ask him, did your tummy hurt, do you hurt anywhere else? Etc. Etc. But um, when they tried to wake him up to give him the ginger ale, his eyes were going and rolling in the back of his head in two different directions. It was just so sad. He went right back to sleep. So when we got out, we went uh, to Walgreens, which was across the street, because that's the only 24-hour pharmacy around. Um, so we got that um, nausea medicine. And then we went to McDonald's, which was right next door, and just got him some chicken nuggets and some fries. Because we kept the ginger ale, so he could drink that. Um, but he was halfway asleep. I was asleep almost instantly when we got in the car. Um, and so we did that while we were waiting on the prescription to be filled. We ate. Um, and this weird guy came up to the door asking for money. And it was raining and thundering and lightning. And he's like, oh, I just, I just need gas to get to my friend who's coming to pick me up. He was on a bike with her truck, and she won't come unless I have $10. And I'm like, well, I have $3 I can give you. I don't have any cash on me because I don't keep cash on me normally. Um, this was just some cash I had gotten from a refund from something. Um, I'm like, you, you're welcome to that. But he just kept saying, you can go over to Walgreens and get some money out of the ATM. I'm like, no. I lied to him and told him we just barely had enough to get my son's medicine. So, plus that would charge me a withdrawal fee of like $325. So, no. I'm sorry, but if you really want to get out of the rain and the thunder and the lightning, you can park your bike and walk inside of Walgreens. They do not care at 2 o'clock in the morning. So, and then while we were eating, he saw him harass another person because she went inside of Walgreens, I guess, and told them about him. And then, like, five seconds later, a cop came riding through the parking lot. And there, beside the McDonald's, is an abandoned Eckerd's, which is a drugstore, or used to be a drugstore um, as well. I don't need your help. No. Quinn wants to be vocal. Whoa! Hey, Quinn! Say hey, you too! Say oh. hey, you too, Hey. You're yes, sitting a sweetheart. Oh. Mom. 
Oh, she's see. There's a moth on the window over there. <sighs> anyway. Um, yeah, so it was entertaining. So after we get done got done eating. Don't knock my camera over, please. Um, we took him home, put him to the bed. Um and like I said, he's improved a little bit. I'm trying to get Quinn from knocking over my camera. She wants to rub up against it, and she's going to knock it over. But yeah, he's doing a little bit better. He's still not feeling well, but he, I think he's going to be good enough to go tomorrow to go to school. Which, I'm filming this on Sunday, so I don't know when it will actually go up. But I'm filming it on June 4th, so. Anyway, that's when this all happened was the second. Um, I was squishing my tube and my machine sort of even at me. If I compress this line and pinch it, I accidentally like I'm sitting like leaning like this cl close to talking to y'all. If it happens to get stuck under like my boob or something, it'll pinch and I can't get medicine. The machine knows that and it'll beep at me. So, interesting. Um, but yeah, we think he'll be good to go to school tomorrow. His fever is pretty much gone. Um, he's just, his energy needs to be recuperated. And I think going to school and seeing his friends and his teacher and just getting into a different environment might help him a little bit. So we're going to try it out. All we can do is send him home. But luckily he had already taken his end of grade exams, which he did really good on. So we're assuming he's going to go to the next grade. Um, and the teacher wasn't doing assignments this week or next week um, because next this coming week is the last week of school. I think they get out on the 9th, I believe. So, um, I want him to at least be there like on the last day because they like to do parties and stuff and I don't want him to miss out. So, but yeah, that was our little story time. Um, a little freak out, panic attack. 